Hey guys, it's the Disney Crush Podcast. I'm sorry that we're a minute late. We ju- we were talking to each other and kind of forgot about you guys. Okay, we. But, uh, Joyce just text me and she has to reset her audio. So. Oh, uh, there. That's, that's okay. Yeah. We're we're gonna be joined uh, by Joy from the Disney Recipe Reel, and uh, we're gonna talk about cooking Disney at home. So for us especially because we're silver pass holders we're blocked out we can't come maybe you guys can't come maybe you can't get away from your job or it's just too expensive so how can you bring disney home well maybe you can have some of your favorite disney treats at home and that's what we're going to talk about tonight um do you want to bring joy on now or you want to do our intro reel hey deirdre uh yeah we can bring her on and then we'll do the uh, we'll introduce her and then we can do okay. the, the okay. our intro. Hi, Joy. Hi. Nice Joy. to be with you. Joy has been uh, a friend of ours through Geeking on Walt Disney World group and the Friends of the Disney Crush. And I did not even realize that, that the Disney recipe reel was you until a couple <laughs> weeks ago. Well, you know, when you join these Facebook groups, they get mad at you if you post too much. So I wasn't sure. <laughs> You can always self-promote on our on our group. We're not, we don't well, it's, it's not like I'm trying to make money off of it. It's just for fun. <laughs> it's just for fun. So yeah. you, you make videos and you post them on YouTube of yourself making the recipes at home. And they're really well done. Um, so we're going to talk about that tonight. But first, I think we're going to we're going to we just did our intro. Dave is so excited. He's been asking me for months to make an intro video. And I finally did it. So um, we'll be back in 90 seconds. So was it worth waiting months and months for, Dave? Your- it's about time, but that was very <laughs> lovely. Thank you. <laughs> Good. Yeah, that was great. I loved it. <laughs> Who's with us tonight, Dave? Uh, look, from the Pacific Northwest, Tom Ellison. Says, I heard hey, that there is a crazy heat wave out there. It's like 100 million degrees in the Pacific Northwest. Mm-hmm. Hotter than Florida. <laughs> yeah. They're, the kids are eating out Mexican food, he said. Yeah. The margarita. Okay. See you later. Okay. And Uli. Hey, Uli. What's Hi, up, Uli. Kiddo? Oh, thanks, yeah, Lauren. That, yeah. Very good. I know. What's up, Dan? Facebook, Facebook user. user. <laughs> thanks. So, thanks Kenny, and how long did that take you to make? Uh, a weekend. But th- those videos are, I had to go into our. YouTube channel and kind of capture the screen and then so that I would have mm-hmm. the clips and, and then I had to find the, the right <laughs> clips and stuff. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, so. It always takes longer than you think. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Video is hard. Yeah. It was that hotter was... in Ohio than Florida. That's crazy. Yeah. We're getting a lot of rain here right now, Holly. 
-hmm. it's pouring right now. So if we end up something happens, it's because the lightning got us. What's up, Scott Days, Mickey File Podcast? Scott needs to pack. How many days has the trans been closed, Scott? I know you've got it. He's got it. He knows how many days. Well, he's just two days away from going to Disney. Two Lucky. days. Lucky guy. Okay. Are we caught up, Dave? Yep, we're good. Ooh, I grab 100. a sweater in New Hampshire. <laughs> so, Joy, when did what made you start making the recipes? We, you, you start making them, I'm sure, before you decided I'm going to get the ca video camera, right? <laughs> no, I got the camera. And then I'm like, what should I do? And really? it was a COVID thing. You know, people okay. did cra crazy things during COVID. I'm like, something, right? So, yeah, I just really wanted to learn how to use my camera. It's not a fancy one. It's just a, like, point and shoot. But, um, it, yeah, I, could, I tried it with my phone to start with. And it was terrible. All the audio, I mean, yeah, but the, the filming was just the colors were wrong. Everything's wrong. So I, I bought a little camera and it, yeah, I just learned how to use it. So then, I mean, I've been baking and cooking forever. since like 11. Mm -hmm. So um, that's, it was either that or sewing. Okay. <laughs> and actually I did try a sewing um, vlog or, um, you know, overhead video mm -hmm. and it was terrible. <laughs> like oh. I, yeah. So the, the cooking just worked out better. I mean, I, I can sew. I'm pretty good sew. I couldn't video it. It's just too many steps. Yeah. And it was too, too confusing. So what <laughs> kind of I, I did one for masks because I, I went into mask production. Oh, okay. A lot of people did. Yeah. 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 That's right. <laughs> and I, I made like 50 and it was like killing me. And then I, I looked around, people are producing 300 oh, yeah. you know, a day. And I was like, forget mm -hmm. it. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> so what kind of camera do you use? Um, it's a Sony ZV-1. Mm -hmm. And how do you do the overhead? I just, what, do you, what, what do you I, mount it on? So I, I, I learned everything from YouTube. Like my kids, whenever I say, oh, did you learn that at school? They're like, no, I learned it on YouTube. I'm that's like, how, why are you going to that's school? That's how we learned how to do a podcast, right, Dave? That's how you do it. That's right. That's how I learned. <laughs> so, I, so I learned, I went, to, I looked at a lot of overhead um, video um, instruction tutorials and um, there was one that just uses a conduit from Home Depot and you just um, put that across your um, table on two like uprights and then I put the camera on that and it's pointing down um, and then for the shots that are going forward I just use a tripod okay so can we see I'm gonna I'm gonna share the final product I'm gonna share the screen um, and we are gonna watch joy make cheeseburger Pods from Satuli Canteen. Yeah, this, this is one of my first ones, so I didn't know the colors yet. <laughs> oh, you you don't have the chill music. <laughs> oh wait, I've got to <laughs> fix it. Oh, I don't know why the music isn't on. Maybe if I. Da, 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 da. That's okay. I'm so sick of the music. <laughs> you probably listened to me in times video uh, editing it all up, right? Yeah. 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 Because I just end up using the same music for everyone. Because Is... like my my um, viewers seem to be different every time, and mm -hmm. ninety percent of them aren't subscribers. They're just ah. like me. I go I go on. I want to learn how to make one thing. I do it, and then I don't right. know who did it. You know, right. I don't. I so I, I've got the music in my ears. I think it's something that I didn't, I didn't press the right button to share the sound, but it's kind of like Charlie Brown type jazz, which yeah, is nice. Like and jazz, mellow, yeah. and, it's know, really and, mellow, but yeah. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> no, this, I didn't press I, the right button. This is really good. Joy. I've seen some of your videos and I'm very impressed. So thank you. you. Do, yeah. You do really well. Thanks. So I had yeah. to learn how to do video editing and all that stuff. So, mm -hmm. but I, you know, I was a computer programmer, so I'm pretty technologically, you know, into oh, it. Okay. I like, that, I like doing all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. That helps. That helps. Yeah. <laughs> See, I was just, I was a complete opposite. I, I, I could barely even do an email before I started podcasting. So there was a no, lot. I love, I, I love tech. When, when Kurt got his new, um, what was it? Roadcaster pro. I was really mm -hmm. excited. Yeah. <laughs> for him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a there was a, a large learning curve for me. I'm still learning. You learn every day, so. Yeah. 
So I want to know how the bao buns tasted. Did they come out? They were so good. And then I went to Disney World and I, and I ordered those at Satili Canteen. Oh, and so I you, think you I got them before you had tasted them oh, at Disney. Oh yeah. No, I, well, part of the reason I like making these different things is when I'm at Disney World, and I haven't been that many times, I don't snack. I just have my three meals, and I, I don't have time. Like I'm, I'm all about getting on the ride, so I don't uh -huh. have time to snack. So I don't. I hear about all these things, and I never get to try them. So that's partly okay. why. Yeah. That's um, cool. But so, so I had them, I had them there and I, it's like, I got the end of the day one or something. It was so chewy and dry. It was, no, mm -hmm. they're not like that all the time, but like, this one was like, got all that ketchup and everything. It's really good. Really moist. Well, well yours look really good. So, um, <laughs> was that recipe from one of the cookbooks or was that one of the recipes Disney released during COVID? Cause they released a lot of recipes on um, the app during COVID. That one, um, no, I got that one off an Asian site of some expert Asian baker, cooker, okay, okay. <laughs> chef. Yeah, well, so well, is it something that, that I know there's like a, well, I mean the bao bun part and how to fold it, that, yeah. that stuff. Mm -hmm. The inside, um, gosh, I can't remember. It might be in the description where I got it. I usually okay. put where I got it. Um, you have, so the, recipe, like, the recipes are in the descriptions of your videos? Some, sometimes they're in the description. Sometimes they d are displayed on the screen or at the end. I just, okay. whatever. So you could find Joy at the Disney Recipe Reel on YouTube. If you just search that, you'll find it on YouTube and you could subscribe. What Now, this Belle's Sugar Christmas thing did not get good reviews at Disney. People <laughs> yeah, did not make, like it. When you it. make it at home, and I tried really hard to make it like delicious and it was disgusting. And yeah. the reason is, it's just too much sugar. It's just and, way, way too much. <laughs> and that was not, that was not you. That was Disney, the reviews yeah. people try, people actually tried it at Disney kind of had the same yeah. feeling about it. Yeah, because I, I can make macarons and I've been making those for a while. Mm -hmm. Um, so that wasn't, and then I, I followed, see, again, I can't remember which recipe, but I followed somebody's recipe. Yeah. <laughs> It'll be in the description. Um, okay. so I try to get credits. Now I noticed the uh, cheese, yeah, but it's just too much sugar. I noticed the cheeseburger spring rolls. You use the same filling as the bao buns. Is that, is I that, did. Is, that, is it the same recipe or is it, do you, do you know, or I have no. I have no idea. I mean, they're called, I've never had them and okay. they're called cheese for spring, spring rolls. So I put the same filling and those were delicious, but I didn't use the, the same kind of um, wraps okay. because I couldn't find them. Okay. You're, the ones at Disney are Shanghai wraps, I think. Okay. Um, and they cut, they come in the freezer sex, section, but I couldn't find them anywhere. So. Okay. Well, Dan, Dan I think Austin. I have to go to an, Asia, an international store. Dan Austin said he wasted $8 on these at Disney. So. <laughs> yeah, they were not. No, these, they were not well home, they're great. Yeah, I know one thing that they did. <laughs> they did release this recipe during COVID. This was the um, the Jack Jack's num num cookies. Yes. Now there's two. There's two recipes for this. There's the Pixar recipe, mm -hmm. and then there's the the Disney recipe. This is the Disney recipe. Okay. So they're different. Okay. And so my big question to you is, where did you get those uh, those papers that <laughs> for the cookies? <laughs> that was difficult, and um, that turned into a big chat on some other um, Facebook group where mm -hmm. people are like dying to get these because I just got them off of Amazon. So I was giving everybody the link and then, you know, I got kicked out of some groups because I oh. put the Amazon link. Oh God. That's why <laughs> you, get, you, get that kicked, you get kicked out for like two days or something. And then I came back, but I just, I'm not thinking when I fire off these comments all the time and I, I have to like slow myself down and think, like okay, is this allowed or? Yeah, I know. I I get I get banned all the time from groups because yeah, I yeah. I just want to share information and I don't yeah. understand. I don't unless that person who runs that group is selling papers for cookies. I don't see what. <laughs> well, it's probably automated, you know, because I mean, yeah. the, the group I was in it was from that has thirty thousand people or something, and oh, okay. they they can't be they can't figuring it out. Yeah. They have to automate it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know how it works, but. This is one of the recipes. Oh, this yeah, is, go ahead. This is great, and I make this all the time now. There's two things I make all the time now. It's this one and the cob salad. That it, it's so good, <laughs> and Very it's not good. hard. No, no, I watched your video on it, and it's just yeah, it's, you cut up the, the stuff and yeah. you put it in the pot. Yeah. 
And this recipe I got from a video of a Disney chef that's from like the 1960s or something. Like oh, wow. Yeah. No, it's, it's not that old, but it was really a, an old video. And the guy was you know, a proper Disney chef. So I just followed what he did. Yeah. Um, although I did make a roux instead of putting it all together mm -hmm. um, to cook the flour beforehand. Really what, Uli? <laughs> what are you reallying? What was the really for? Was it because she got kicked out for sharing the paper? <laughs> Well, Tony so, Ann, you got kicked out of a group because you said Tim Tracker. So Yeah, that's true. Um, <laughs> you said this Dole Whip was not good. Now, was this the recipe Disney shared over the summer? The, the, no, you put the, no. The ice cream and so the pineapple? When, no. So when Disney shares recipes, they share the at-home version because they want the most number of people to be successful. They don't. So a lot of the recipes aren't what you get in the restaurant. Right. For example, the, the cob salad's not, the dressing's not the same as what you mm -hmm. can get at the restaurant. Um, and this one, um, I didn't do the pineapple. I tried it, but it didn't come out very good. Um, the pineapple, whatever, ice cream one. This is the actual um, oh, so powder. Oh, you, you bought the actual. You I, bought the, I bought the powder, yeah. Yeah, here's, Amazon. this is Amazon. I actually had that. that yeah. You can, you can get it. it Amazon, it's, it's really for the soft serve machines. But the directions for making it at home are out there. Right. So you, so, so you, so you tried this and it was not. I, well, no, it tasted exactly like Dole Whip. It's just that if you can see the picture, it's very crystallized. So the ice cream maker is just not good enough. So it, it uh, see the crystals, you can see it's like, mm -hmm. um, yeah, crystally. So yeah, the flavor was spot on course because it's just it's from the, the stuff from dole yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah, dole, yeah dole does sell they do sell it and um you can get it on amazon in a variety of flavors mango pineapple lemon lime orange mm -hmm. raspberry and strawberry on amazon I, actually it got better as it melted because then it wasn't crystal okay right. yeah so it, it was great i mean i'd rather have that than the pineapple whatever recipe because this tastes like it the recipe that Disney that Disney put out over the summer was not the real recipe because it was pineapple, frozen pineapple, pineapple juice, and vanilla ice yeah. cream. And right. the actual Dole Whip is dairy free. Right. So that's right. Yeah. Kay Kayleen made hers with delicious cocoa whip instead of ice cream. So maybe so maybe we need to try that. Hi, Kayleen. Uh, and you tried the gray stuff? Okay, so this is my favorite one because it took me a long time to figure this out and many, many failed attempts that everyone in my family was extremely happy to eat even though they were <laughs> failed because <laughs> uh, they were all good. They just weren't the gray stuff. So I finally hit on this one, which is um, you start with Hershey's cookies and cream chocolate bars. Okay. And it's a panna cotta. So you're making a, basically making a white chocolate panna cotta. Nice. And, and panna cotta is like a cooked cream. Yes, yeah, a custard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So yeah. so all of these recipes can be found on, on the Disney recipe reel on YouTube. Oh, forgot yeah. about that one. That's very important. Yes, yes. So this is where I learned how to um, uh, flambe something. I've never done that before. Like oh, you go to wow. a restaurant and they come over and they yeah. light a match and it goes up. And when you try it at home, nothing happens. So... <laughs> <laughs> what you have to do is you have to heat up the rum in the microwave to a certain temperature. I can't remember oh. the temperature, but it's in the video. Um, you heat it up, then you pour it in, you light it, and it works like a dream. So, yeah, that was great. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That looks so, good. So, Dave, what are you going to make? Um, grilled cheese, maybe. Oh, okay. <laughs> and she's got that, too. She's got the... the Woody's lunchbox grilled cheese on her page. I know um, uh, she does. So so there you go. Great stuff. Think Dave, is delicious. Dave makes a mean um, buffalo one. Yes, he buffalo does, and we're and we're gonna, yeah. we're gonna talk about that tonight. Joy, I want to thank you so much. Is there anything else that you want people to know about your channel about the Disney recipe reel? Are you hoping well, to do more? Yeah. Well, I haven't done it for a month, so I guess I just need encouragement. So I think this. Because you asked me to do this, I'll, I'll definitely do one. I'll do well, one for you. The next, the next one is Sana tomato soup. I've got all the ingredients, and oh, I just cool. have to put it together. Yeah. Cool. Nice. All right. So, Joy, did you get this? Because I just got mine from Amazon. Did you get this from Amazon? I Delish wanted to, but gosh, I, if I buy another book 
another cookbook. Get in trouble. <laughs> oh, could get in trouble. So, <laughs> but, so I, so, but I'm I'm buying one off of the Disney website, um, the Di Shop Disney. Uh -huh. Pam Be Pam Bearden is a official Disney um, cookbook Chef. author. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. right, and she's doing a 50th anniversary one, which mm -hmm. I got to texting her in one of the Facebook groups, and she's wow. really nice. Yeah, yeah, it was great. That's awesome. And so I, I asked her if I could get a you know a couple recipes beforehand so I could start doing the videos, and she said <laughs> she said it wasn't up to her; it's up to the Disney people. So yeah, yeah. I couldn't get that, but I'm going to pre-order it, and I'm going to hit the ground running and do all those 50th anniversary. Oh, that's ones. awesome. Yeah. I can't wait to see. I think this, that's why I've been taking a break. Cause I know I'm, that's coming. You, that's, yeah. You're, yeah. You're going to be quite busy for a time. This is, yeah. um, if people don't know, actually, I, well, I've actually got the, the, um, this is the magazine that Disney just really delish loves Disney. It is an Amazon exclusive. So you have to go on Amazon and look for it. It was thirteen, thirteen ninety or something. I think yeah. I got it in less than two days. It's got the recipe for the num num cookies. Uh, you can see there the waffle from Sleepy Hollow, the kitchen sink, which I think is a ridiculous recipe because I mean it's ice cream and and everything else. I mean that's is that really a recipe? I don't think so. <laughs> but the recipe for the for the uh, peanut butter and jelly milkshake from Prifty's Primetime Cafe. Um, the pizza, the pepperoni pizza spring rolls from the spring roll cart. Um, spicy does it chicken. Have a, does it have, yeah, the spicy chicken waffle, the butternut yeah. one. Oh my gosh, I need that one. You need to text text me that one because I, I that's what okay. I had when I went to the Grand Floridian recently with my aunt. That's what I ordered, and it was so so good. And okay. that, I wouldn't normally order something like that. It just thought. Oh, the Canadian, I mean, the Canadian chicken, the, Cana <laughs> the Canadian cheddar cheese soup is in there. Uh, Dave's son Zane loves the frushi from the Flower and Garden Festival. That's in there. The tachos from Woody's lunchbox. The peanut butter and jelly milkshake. The Ronto wrap. The num num cookies. The ribs from Harambe Market. The Karubi ribs. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, there's there's lots of stuff. Uh, Looking really good, Tonga toast. So you guys, hey, why don't why don't you make a few of those and tell me if the recipes actually work, and then I'll buy it. <laughs> okay, because <laughs> I, I know you're like the quite the home chef, you know. Yes, that's, that's all right. I, I'll do and it. One of them is is the brown derby cob salad, which I forgot to show the picture of yours. I wanted to compare. This is Joy's brown derby cob salad, and um, it's, my it's husband. Not about the, oh, sorry, yeah. it's not about the the vegetables. It's a this um, salad dressing. The, yeah. It's so good. And I got it from an old copy of um, the California real brown derby restaurant. Yeah. We had gotten my husband, so, my husband and I had looked so up that's the, real, the dressing. Yeah. Yeah. My husband and I had looked up the real brown derby recipe as well. He had made it for me. We had, we were doing keto and he made it while we were doing keto and it, it really <laughs> was delicious. And like you, we got the original, yeah. the original, um, yeah, your one looks prettier than mine. Oh no, I don't think so. <laughs> but but the 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 dressing's well worth. I mean, I could just drink the dressing; it's so good. <laughs> that that and the um, gray stuff, I can just you know eat it out of the tube. <laughs> so the um the thing about the cob salad is it's a lot of chopping. Mm -hmm. It's a lot of yeah. chopping. So I let him do it. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, well, Joy, is there anything else you want people to know about your channel or where they could find you? Uh, no, just Disney Recipe Real. Just Google or search it on, um, on YouTube. Yeah, on YouTube, I found yeah. it really easy just like that. It, and subscribe because she's got more videos coming out. It'd be nice to have more women. Apparently, all my um, viewers in the analytics on Google, they tell you who your viewers are. They're mostly men. Really? <laughs> Well, yeah. we like to cook. Men like to cook. <laughs> Men like to cook. So. so I'm thinking of more hearty meals, you know. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, well you got right. people, well, you got people so subscribing. Much. Thank you. So. Thank you very all much. All right. Bye-bye. Have a good night. Bye. So, Dave, um, you recently made, and, and Joy kind of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Intimated or uh hinted, uh, spoke about the fact that you had made the um, the grilled cheese from, this is this is the original from ABC Commissary, the buffalo chicken grilled cheese sandwich. That was the one Veronica ate. Mm -hmm. 
And this is the one Dave made. Hmm. I don't I don't want to brag, but I, I, I have to say mine looks a little better. Yours is nice and toasty. Mm -hmm. But you you went crazy. You don't even remember. You must have been in a stupor because you you showed like every step of making it. Well, you we talked about this uh yesterday when we were podcasting, and I didn't remember, but now that you're showing me these pictures, I okay, now I'm I'm I may have had a, a couple uh <laughs> rums. I mean a couple uh, gin and tonics, maybe. But no, now yeah, I remember. You, yeah. You went through all the steps, man. Yeah. See? I'm not as good as Joy, but uh, and it wasn't filmed. I just took pictures, but yeah, I tried to show exactly what. How do you do it? What went into it? Yeah. Yeah, the cream cheese and the cheese and the buffalo sauce. Yeah. And it was really, yeah. it was really good. You said. It you was it. it well. It was really good. Yeah. Yeah, I I think I uh, I rubbed it in a little bit, but it was good. It was good. <laughs> yeah, I think yours. I think yours is is more. Um, uh, more real chicken than than what you get in uh, the restaurant because well they uh, they um, they blend theirs up really fine right S supposedly supposedly they split and I chopped mine up and so I had a, it was a little bit more chunky so you really can you know I, yeah you know, I, chopped it, I chopped it up pretty fine as you can tell right there but mm -hmm. there's still some good little chunks in there okay um, yeah but no it was good no actually I'd do it again so I that mean, recipe that recipe is out there too um. And we can put links tomorrow, tomorrow morning when I, or maybe, maybe tonight, we'll, we'll try to find as many recipes that we talked about tonight as possible and, po and post them on the friends of Disney crush. The yeah. Toasted bread that yeah. he did a lot. Yeah. yeah he, that... uses, he uses mayonnaise. That's, that's another trick that um, I've seen Alton Brown do that when he makes a grilled cheese, he, he actually uses mayonnaise instead of butter. Mm hmm. Yep. If you've ever fought with cold butter trying to make a grilled cheese, that mm -hmm. when when Alton Brown taught me to use mayonnaise instead, I was like, "Oh, duh." <laughs> yeah, it works good. And I and of course I use my cast iron uh skillet right there too, so yeah. that's my that's my go-to. So um, this is this was my my recipe um last year. It might have been during Chinese New Year or I'm not sure when Morimoto released the recipe for his ribs, his ribs in his restaurant. That's like one of the number one items on his menu. So he released the recipe for these ribs and I decided I was going to make them. Dave, I could have, first of all, I had to go to the Asian market to get all these ingredients, tamarind paste and all the stuff. The amount of money I spent in the Asian market and the amount of time it took to cook these ribs while they were delicious. They were delicious. I could have driven to Disney Springs and gotten them at the restaurant. I think we ate dinner at nine o'clock this night and I had started cooking them around two o'clock in the afternoon because oh there's gosh. so there's just so many steps. <laughs> Cause you have to cook them, you have to marinate them, you have to cook them, you have to once they're cooked, you have to take them, you have to fry them because they're crispy wings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I could have driven to Disney Springs for probably <laughs> less money and less time. <laughs> but probably. they were delicious. Oh, uh, so. they look really they look really good. So yeah. Yeah. So uh, Holly says know. Noah requested gray stuff for his birthday cupcakes and he just requested ooey gooey toffee cake for the fourth of July picnic. Perfect. <laughs> See? So yeah, the ooey gooey toffee. There's this Holly. This was your picture, right? Of Holly's ooey gooey toffee cake. Michael liked Michael liked that picture. He he was looking at the pictures last night when I was posting them. And this is Brenda Futrell. Then Brenda Futrell. This is her picture. And Holly's Holly has a little bit more of a modest uh, portion than Brenda. Brenda went all out. <laughs> wow, that was good. Yeah, that's the ooey tooey gooey toffee cake. Uh, Dan says he's had those ribs and they're the best thing ever. They really are good. And maybe coming from Ohio, it's it's cheaper and quicker to make them at home. But coming from two hours away, it probably would have been faster for me to just go to Disney Springs. <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um, trying to think. AJ Mills, I really feel, feel really bad because 
the whole reason, the whole inspiration for this episode was AJ. Cause I watched AJ post her pictures that she makes. She made the num num cookies. I think she, this is the strawberry shortcake from hoop to do review. Hmm. And she, she made this and I really wanted to have her on the show, but we just could not get our times together. She's in the UK. I thought we'd pre-record something. We just couldn't make it work. You know, it took me three years to get Kevin on the podcast. So hmm. I'm not good with time differences, I guess. And I asked her to do an intro and it took her months to get an intro for our yeah. live show. <laughs> our friend, Travis Dietrich, he had found a recipe for uh, a Borson macaroni and cheese from one of the uh, festivals. That looks you know, pretty good. Yeah. Borson has the, the booth during, is it during food and wine? What was this from? This is a recipe. Mm. This is Disney shared this recipe. I think it was from food and wine with the Borson and the garlic panko. And he said it was really good. Mm, looks good. He, he also made these haystacks that he said were from Animal Kingdom. But I don't know where in Animal Kingdom. Where do you get these haystacks? I didn't see Travis on tonight, did you? Mm -mm. To tell us. Dana, I cannot believe this is her home picture. Dana Brugneri made this orange chicken from, and that's the rest. That's the cookbook she has. Chef Mickey treasures from the vault and delicious new favorites. And that is an orange chicken recipe. I don't know if it's supposed to be from Yak and Yeti or from Nine Dragons, but it looks good. And she also made the Sanaa butter chicken. Which also looks good. I was, um, okay. Brenda Futrell, it's from Epcot. So then it's it's from Nine Dragons. The uh, orange chicken. Looks good. Have you made anything else at home, Dave? Um, I don't think so, but I'm going to start making some more stuff. Yes. The, you can uh, find, go ahead. No, I was just going to say doing that, doing the uh, buffalo chicken grilled cheese inspired me. And I, to be honest with you, I, I watch um, another chef on TV called Sam the Cooking Guy. Yeah, I like and, him. Too. Mm -hmm. And I, and he did it and he did it from Disney. He followed their recipe, which was kind of cool. Mm -hmm. And then that inspired me to do it. And plus you guys were in Disney, which was irritating. Right. So I, rubbing, so I, rubbing it in. Rubbing I, so I had to rub something yeah. on your face and tell you how delicious mm -hmm. it was and how much you guys were missing my beautiful grilled cheese, chicken, buffalo chicken sandwiches. <laughs> during during the closure, Brenda Futrell had posted that she made um, dinner. She made dinner from La Cellier. So she made a, a nice steak with the asparagus. And that is the spinach and gorgonzola in that ramekin. I asked her what that was. And she said it was amazing. That looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. I and then for, for dessert, they had the ooey gooey toffee cake. Mm, well. I know. That doesn't do no, anything. No, I mean, but no toffee and, you know, I'm not so much on cake, but a little toffee on there. I might take a couple of bites of that. Yeah. During, during the closure, I was really really missing one thing in particular from Disney. And I broke out <laughs> the gin and tried to replicate the, Oh, the Himalayan, the pink Himalayan from the, Yak and Yeti. Yes. Yes. Scott, there's an art to making a hot dog. You know, there is a very, uh, <laughs> a very long process to make those things. It takes a lot of skill and patience to make a hot dog. Yeah. So Abram, Abram Beckner, Amy Beckner's son, made the short ribs from Citrico's. And here's the question. Which picture is Abram and which picture is from the cookbook? Because it took me like a minute to figure out which was which because the kid did a great job. This is oh my actually gosh. Wow. This is actually his. He made short ribs uh, from one of the Disney cookbooks from the unofficial. I think it's the unofficial Disney cookbook. This is Good. the short ribs from Citrico's. Good job. 
Yeah, exactly. Amy. Wow. Yeah. It needs to be a chef. I think, I think that was uh okay. So I wanted to talk about other ways to bring Disney home. Uh Kayleen had showed us that she just does something simple, making Mickey Mickey shaped pancakes. That brings Disney home. The kids are excited to have Mickey pancakes at home, and it makes you feel like you're still at Disney World. Mm -hmm. If you want to bump it, yeah, Abram was going to cater G three. That's right. <laughs> if you want to bump it up a notch, hey Anna, you can, you can do Mickey waffles at home. Now this is the real. This is this is if you want the real Mickey waffles that look like the ones you get at Disney, the mini ones. This is the machine you need. It's the 90th anniversary double flip waffle maker. It is $75. Mm. So it's really going to set you back. I do know that sometimes you'll find it at box lunch and hot topic, and they will have discount codes like 30% off or 20% off. When Disney has a discount code, like when they have their big sale, semi-annual sale, Mm -hmm. And you put this in your cart, the discount code won't apply to it. It real. I've tried so many times to buy this thing, and I can't get it. The discount code won't apply. They huh. know. Right. Exactly. It's the 90th anniversary double flip waffle maker. Well, you can. F I know it's on Box Lunch, and you should be able to get a code. But if if you're not that picky, if you don't have to have those waffles. There are cheaper waffle makers. This one is $25 on Amazon, and it makes a Mickey-shaped waffle. It's not the exact waffle from Disney, but it'll do in a pinch. Don't get this one. This one, it comes out looking like a pan. It's really a pancake maker. They call it a waffle maker, but that's not a waffle. That's a pancake. Judy says Just she has a larger Mickey waffle maker and got it from Amazon. Okay. Oh, mm -hmm. like the big head. Mm, I think okay. so. Yeah. And if you want, and <laughs> Scott goes the easy route, Eggo makes them. But if you want the real flavor, because Mickey waffles taste different. This is the, this is the waffle mix that Disney, it's malted. It's got a little malty flavor. That's what makes it different. It's not just regular Bisquick pancake batter. It's, malted so that is the brand golden malted made it's the name of the company is carbon c-a-r-b-o-n carbon golden malted waffle mix and you can find it on amazon and elsewhere but that is the that is the mix disney uses so you could be like kevin and take your joffrey's home with you mm. have yeah, your friends have your friends smuggle you some off the lawn, off the uh, housekeeping cart? Mm -hmm. I I think that's what he did. I think his friends smuggled that off the housekeeping cart. No, never. So you can get Joffrey's coffee. You can actually or or for, order this coffee online. This um this Disney blend. <clears throat> what are you ordering, Veronica? The the seventy five dollar waffle maker. Oh no, I gotta go stop her. She's gonna going crazy. They taste the same as a regular waffle, honey. <laughs> yes. Just get the just get the cheaper waffle maker. <laughs> but I'm I, I really do want this waffle maker, but hers is like the red one, but if you put enough mix in, they come out nice and fluffy. Okay, Judy. All right. Judy says these are I, I put them down. Judy has it and she says that they're pretty good if you put enough mix in them. Okay. She's so just getting the mix. They're better than a pancake. They're they're actually waffly, Judy said. Okay. It's just a picture to me looks weird. Yeah, you get get the mix, honey, and I'll put a I'll make a round pancake and a couple small pancakes and I'll just put the ears on top. Well oh, that's pancake. what well okay, that's what Kayleen did. Actually yeah. I think they I think they may sell just um a, one of those rings. That you know, you, like a silicone ring that you could put on the pan and and pour the batter in, and mm -hmm. you'll have your pancakes. Yeah. Holly said her kids eat the flat ones just the same. So save the fifty dollars and and get that one. Yeah. See, I'd rather have a waffle than a pancake. 
Well, then, then get a, this one. Get and this then put one, a, then, Dave. And then put a piece of chicken on top of it. Then we're then we're talking. Now we're talking. Then you're in business. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's all I had for for that topic. Um. Oh, Amy has a Mickey and Minnie cake pop maker, and it works with package muffin mix. All right. Anything else that the our listeners wanted to add to the conversation? She bought the the pancake mold. Okay, mm. at the gift shop. That's. Yeah. Good to know. So you could buy it on at Disney. Mm-hmm. All right. So some big news came out. You know, we record the podcast on Monday nights and we, we should learn by now that Disney decides to drop news on Tuesdays. It always happens. Yeah. So there's a lot, of, there was a lot of restaurant news today and I'm going to bring it up while I'm doing that. Okay, that. Um, that what? Those look like treats. That is Citrico's, which is my one of my probably the best meal I ever had on Disney property was at Citrico's. Yeah, you and said c- that. Yeah, Citrico's is really like under. It's under recognized. It's it's a hidden gem, I guess. Um, I don't really understand why, because it's um, been there forever, but it's in the Grand Floridian. It's upstairs. It's it's just an amazing restaurant, and they are reopening on, I have the date here, July 15th. Is that it? Yeah, July 15th. You can start making reservations on July 1st. So uh, you're looking at... Um, a sweet corn bisque. That's what that's what you see at the top, and uh, that's a strawberry salad. Butter poached Florida cobia is the seafood dish, and a guava barbecued short rib. That is the middle. That is the middle picture. That's on top of my face, and then for dessert, pastry chef Christine Farmer created a warm apple rose and a chocolate tort. So the warm apple rose has marzipan layers, frozen coconut milk, and the chocolate tort is a dark chocolate financier chocolate with a cherry compote and a vanilla bean mascarpone. They're building a Publix near Amy's house. That's wonderful. Pub subs for everyone. (laughs) <laughs> dangerous <laughs> yeah i've got one pretty close to my house too we have we have like seven in my county so. mm-hmm. and trails end is reopening dave and i were talking about trails end right before the show started it looks like they're going to do kind of a wilderness lodge whispering canyon cafe type menu because they're instead of the buffet they're doing skillets they're doing family style skillets none of these places the prices have not been dropped yet I'm, I'm assuming that basically these these all you can eat skillet places before they introduce characters have been twenty five dollars. So I'm thinking that that breakfast is probably going to be around twenty five dollars. Uh, eggs, bacon, sausage, pancakes, Mickey waffles, pastries, and a yogurt parfait and fruit cup. Dinner features. Yes, Uli, that is an upside down cowboy hat. Yes, we're going to get to that, Uli. You, you, you stole the you spoiler alert. Okay, the dinner is hush puppies, cornbread, which I'm sure is Judy's delicious hoop de doo cornbread. I'm hoping it should be uh, a chop garden salad, family style smokehouse skillet with pecan smoked brisket, rotisserie chicken, and dewy sausage, fingerling potatoes, green beans. Buttered corn on the cob. Disney has um, started this thing where they're doing an upcharge. It started with um, Cape May Cafe. They, they're doing an upcharge. So for an upcharge, you can get ribs, peel and eat shrimp, and cornbread. Oh, and also crusted salmon. Cornbread, cr- cornbread crusted salmon. That's what it is. And the meal ends with the covered wagon Sunday. 
which is a wagon load of ice cream, toppings, brownies, cookies, chocolate covered bacon. Oh my goodness. In a cowboy hat. Mm. Hey, there's Travis. What's up, Travis? Hey, Travis. We just talking about you. We, we showed had you a picture. picture of yeah, we had a picture of your your macaroni and cheese. Um, what what go back one comment before that about the fried chicken? Yeah, exactly. No fried chicken. That trails end that kitchen is known for their fried chicken. So I don't know. Yeah. And that's what that's I was what Aunt, shocked. That's what Auntie Judy said. I was shocked that they said rotisserie chicken and not fried chicken. So I don't know. So that's um, July 17th, I believe. I just want to double check. I don't want to misspeak. July 17th, Trails End is open. Tomorrow, tomorrow will be Dave is most excited about Casey's Corner. No, you see what's underneath it, right? Oh, you're going to get a pub out. Mm. Okay, that's my kids who don't seem to know. They're texting me. They don't seem to know that I have a live stream every other Tuesday night. So, yeah, my kids. And and then on the on the um, July seventh, the Plaza Ice Cream Shop will be opening back up the ice cream parlor on Main that, Street. That looks like a very small cone. It does. Or is it, or is it just way, me? No, they're making her hold it in a way that trying to make it look bigger, but mm, it does look yeah. tiny. Yeah, you would think for like Instagram they would have chosen something. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, I wonder if it's hollow mm. inside that ice cream. So Amanda says we need to Ohana noodle the fried chicken back. So we need to start an out, you know, uh, internet outrage. So they'll bring the fried chicken. Yeah, Amy, I remember that Cowboy Sunday at Whispering Canyon. So I was surprised that. That picture is there because the description says um, a wagon load. So I'm wondering if they don't have a picture of the wagon yet and they're using an old picture of the Cowboy Sunday from Whispering Canyon. Because I remember that 10 gallon, it was like the 10 gallon set Sunday or something. Mm. So I, I'm because the description says a wagon load of ice cream. So we'll have to see when it actually opens. The wagons probably haven't come in yet. <laughs> the interesting thing that I saw in this press release was these family bundle meals. I don't know about, I'm guessing in other parts of the country it was big too. Here in Florida during the great unpleasantness, as Kevin calls it, a lot of the local restaurants did family bundles to so it was kind of a, a palatable price to feed your family and bring the food home. So Centertown Market is doing that. At, that'd, be um, that'd be nice if you got the hat after you had that all ice cream, Joy. Centertown Market at Caribbean Beach Resort from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m., is doing a family bundle meal. And again, they have not released the price, but this starts tomorrow. So we should be able to find out the price tomorrow. Uh, roasted Jamaican style chicken, fried yucca, cilantro rice, seasonal vegetables, Caribbean pull apart rolls with onion jam and guava butter, and a decorate your own Mickey and Minnie cookies. So I don't know how many cookies you're gonna get, that is at Centertown Market at Caribbean Beach. And we don't have a price yet. They said these meals feed three to five people. So I'm guessing that means four people. Gasparilla Island Grill at Grand Floridian has from 5 to 10 p.m. a family bundle that comes with a garden salad with cucumber, carrots, and a duo of dressings. Savory lasagna three cheese lasagna with tomato sauce, two Mickey-shaped cheese or pepperoni pizzas, and a Minnie Mouse cheesecake with strawberry sauce and fresh berries. Again, it serves three to five people. It's, it's two separate things. There's onion jam and guava butter. So that, Amy's asking about guava and onion. I think the pull-apart rolls with Sebastian's Bistro 
comes with um, an assortment of spreads. And I think those are two of the spreads at Sebastian's Bistro. Yeah, that, we'll have a price for it tomorrow, Scott, because it's supposed to start on, on June 30th, which is tomorrow. So we should be able to find I looked it up right before we came on. It wasn't posted yet. So, yeah. We'll see. But I think anything new Disney's offering is a great thing. I'm surprised that they're doing it at Caribbean Beach and not at one of the DVC resorts where you could actually go grab the bundle, take it back to your villa. I, I've, I've seen them do that at Thanksgiving. I know they did it at, at Beach Club. Um, not last, not this Thanksgiving with COVID, but Thanksgiving before. Beach Club did a meal for you to take back to your uh, villa for Thanksgiving. So I'm, I'm kind of... Sorry. I mean, Grand Floridian has DVC, but very tiny. So I, I would expect to see this at Saratoga or Old Key West, honestly, or, you know, but we'll see. I think I hear a Michael coming, but. So what Michael are you guys going to, yeah, what's everybody going to cook at home to bring Disney home? Yeah, the family meal. Okay. Yeah, Amanda, go, go get it. Go get it tomorrow. Go get the lasagna one. <laughs> Yeah, they, it really doesn't. I think it's really up to the individual management at the resort. Amy says there's no rhyme or reason for what they do. Um, I think that's what it is. I think the management at, at the different places have a little bit of their own leeway to try things, and this is what they're doing. Skyliner Hub. Yeah. Amy's gonna try the cheeseburger spring the cheeseburger spring rolls. Now I know that's something else that that AJ had tried. That was another reason I, I really wanted to get AJ on tonight, but uh, we just couldn't make it work out. But um, I know she made the cheeseburger spring rolls at home, so I know these recipes are out there. Um, besides the cookbooks that you can buy, like I said, I got this one for thirteen dollars on Amazon. This magazine, there's there's several. Disney cookbooks, both official and unofficial. Um, there are recipes out there. Uh, during food and wine, they would give out cards. So some of these recipes have gotten out there. I know Wolfgang Puck, he, his, he used to give out cards with his recipes for his butternut squash soup and his pumpkin ravioli. Um, All Ears, the, the website, I know they have a lot of recipes. I know they have Ohana noodles. I've made the French toast loaf from Main Street Bakery from back before it was a Starbucks. It was one of the all-time favorites was the French toast loaf. And I've actually made that at Christmas for my family. Um, so that's out there on the All Ears uh, website, allearsnet.com. Uh, the Disney Food Blog has recipes I've seen. So they're out there. Like you said... Kayleen's got a cookbook from 1994. Wow. How cool, how cool would that be to see that's some awesome. stuff that's not there anymore? Yeah. Amy says, I may make the cheese soup at home. I've been intimidated by the recipe, but maybe I'll feel better after watching Joy's video. Yeah, her yeah, videos Joy's, are really good. Joy's videos are really good. They are. So Pinterest too. So, you know, some of them, like Joy said, some of them are the real recipe and some of them, like from the chefs, and some of them are Disney, Disney put them out to try to make you be successful at home. Like I know some of those recipes they brought out this summer were not the real deal. And after making these ribs that Morimoto himself released, <laughs> I can see why. Cause if, you, if this was the first Disney recipe you tried to make at home, you'd be really discouraged because it took hours and a bazillion ingredients, but they were good. They were really, really good. You but talk about them all the time, how good they are. I mean, but I don't think I'd make them again. <laughs> I think you said you wanted to lick the plate that it, they came on or something like that. <laughs> but yeah, I, like I said, I have ingredients in my pantry now I'll never use again. And we ate dinner at 9 o'clock that night. So. <laughs> oh, Charlie's near them. Do they still have cheddar? Seat? I don't I don't know. I remember Oh Charlie's, but I don't know if they're still around. Oh, Veronica. Yeah, Veronica, we need to... Yeah, we we try to get the recipe from the 
the salmon tartare, but they didn't they didn't have it. But that was really good. We had uh, the last time we were in Epcot recently. Yeah. They've actually put on Disney's wasn't it fun? No, actually I was crying by 8 30. I was crying. No. I was like, I don't know why I did this. Yeah, a lot of the restaurant a lot of the restaurants will give you copies of the recipes. Sometimes they're like recipe for 300 though. You have to kind of cut them down to to your size. Oh. Amy said there's no Charlie's now near her house. So you got to go to Alabama. Mobile, Alabama. And I think Joy was just in Mobile if I'm not mistaken too. She went to see the the battleship. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, guys. Anything else? Any other loose ends we got, Dave? The podcast is coming along. You said you had a lot of editing to do. Yeah, but that's normal. That's okay. Yeah, we had some stuff. Well, you know, we had some stuff going last night, so. But okay. it's okay. Yeah. I, yeah. I just want to I just want to take this opportunity to uh, fish, to thank Kayleen. Kayleen, you know what you did. We got an email tonight, and thank you very much for that. Yes, um, Kayleen. That's so sweet. So thank you so that, much. Thank you so much for, for that. And um, we are just so grateful for all of you guys joining us every other Tuesday night, listening to the podcast every week. You're not listeners. You're our friends. Truly. Truly. Join us on the Friends of the Disney Crush Facebook group. Um, we've got new people joining every day. We never use our Instagram. If I, I could, this picture is not very Instagrammable. I can do it. I'm on Instagram quite a bit. Not a lot, but I'm on there several times a week. Tony, and you just don't see it because you don't do anything with, with Instagram, but I do. I'm out of memory on this stupid old phone. Oh. So yeah, you know. I think I've got 400 and over, almost 500 posts on there. Silly. That picture is so. not very Instagrammable, but this one, it, like your your like step by step was nice. I don't know. Thank you, thank you. I I just you know it, any more comments on that beautiful glazing on there? That's beautiful. That's a, just. I a, think I think Joy's pictures are a lot more Instagrammable than, than well, mine. Well, yes, but I'm a podcaster, not a vlogger. So, <laughs> but I hey, I, that was my first attempt at it. So you know, there's a learning curve, Tony. You know what, Dave? To close. Um, so the show will be out tomorrow night, Wednesday night. If everything goes okay, yes. If yeah. you're good closing it out, I think I want to watch that video one more time. You know what? I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I wouldn't disagree with that at all. If you want to play all that right. video one more time on the way out, I think that's a great idea. Good night, guys. Thank you guys for Merry coming. Christmas. We appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> There's always one in the crowd. There's always Judy one. Says, Do you have any <laughs> recipes for cucumbers? I think we could probably make some up. Yeah. Maybe we should do that. Yeah. I love, I love Judy. <laughs> Judy, are you Disney Judy? We think you are. Uh, so on that note, we're going to go. I'm going to play that video one more time.
See you in two weeks. Mickey Fowl Podcast will be back in this time slot next Tuesday night. Have a good week. Bye, guys. Bye.